What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. And this time we are continuing my unique weapon guide series with a fantastic close quarters combat weapon. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your hub for daily Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get Le Fusi Terrible. You can tell me, you French-speaking people, if that's good or bad, but that is French and roughly translates to the Terrible Shotgun. So, if you recognize that name, it's because the Terrible Shotgun was an incredibly strong, unique weapon in Fallout 3, one of my favorites. That thing had enough power to one-shot a super mutant behemoth with a single sneak critical headshot. So, very, very potent weapon. And fortunately, a similar weapon lives on in the Commonwealth and happens to have a pretty powerful modifier in and of itself. The terrible shotgun is located inside of a crate in the captain's cabin at Libertalia. So this location is very far east on the map. And it's kind of, Libertalia is actually kind of a raider, self-made kind of archipelago. I don't know what formation that is, but they have a bunch of boats strung together with, with a bunch of wood and pathways. And it's kind of cool. It's kind of like something you'd find in Borderlands. Um, that's kind of the feeling I had while I was attempting to get this weapon. So really, you're gonna fight through a bunch of raiders. It's not too difficult, I will say. I only came across a few skull enemies, and I'm only level 15 in this gameplay, so it shouldn't be too difficult if you wanna come here and get the terrible shotgun pretty early on in the game. Moving along a little bit, once you see this giant mound, that's where you need to go. So you need to work towards there while you're navigating through all of these man-made kind of islands, I guess they are. And once you get to this point, you're gonna see this giant kind of landfill junk pile, and this cable car will come towards you, I believe, once you get in the area. You can very easily pick off the guy there. And that's how you get up onto, it looks like a capsized ship. I don't know if I'm looking at that incorrectly. Yeah, it looks like a capsized ship. And that's where the captain's cabin is going to be. And so you're going to encounter plenty of raiders here. I'm playing on a sneak base character, so it wasn't too much of a problem. I was able to sneak by most of the enemies and get, you know, some sneak criticals as well. But once you kind of navigate your way up on this capsized ship, you're going to keep going all the way up as much as you possibly can. And there is a captain named Wire, but I didn't have to kill him because, again, I was sneaking. If you're not a sneak-based character, you might have to deal with a lot more raiders than I did. But once you make your way up here, you'll see this captain's cabin door, and you'll go through. And I don't know if this shotgun's supposed to be inside of the crate or on top of it or if it just glitched, but here it is. So the terrible shotgun is really just a slightly modified combat shotgun with the violent modifier, which is plus 25 damage and limb damage, but has more recoil. Honestly, I did not notice the increased recoil with that legendary modifier while, you know, testing this weapon for this video. The increased damage definitely overshadowed that fact, and if you use VATS enough, you know, increased recoil is not really a problem. So, you know, the violent modifier is fantastic for a VATS-based build. And most shotguns in video games have a very short range. That's just not the case for shotguns in this game. They have a pretty decent amount of range. It's going to be shorter than, like, an assault rifle, for example, or a combat rifle. But the combat shotgun definitely puts down enemies at a decent distance. You're going to find it at a lower damage unless you have Rifleman. Rifleman does impact shotguns, which is something a lot of people don't know. So if you are running a rifle-based build, you should probably get a nice shotgun to complement that. In terms of modding, the Terrible Shotgun does come with a few mods already. However, there's definitely some room for improvement, especially if you have Gun Nut. And rank three is what you'll need to get all of my recommendations here. So the advanced receiver is just going to increase your damage by so much. It's ridiculous. It increased my damage by about 60 already, you know, just in this video, not even increasing rifleman at all. It went from 95 to 150 something, and that's just incredible. So advanced receiver is definitely what you want to do once you get to that required level. Recoil compensating stock is just going to help you offset that increased recoil penalty. Like I said, it's not a huge deal, especially if you're using VATS. But if you do decide to shoot outside of VATS at a certain distance, this will help offset that recoil penalty. And then finally, quick eject drum mag. This is something you guys can decide if you want to do or not. It already comes with a drum mag, so you're not going to increase the actual capacity of your magazine, which can be really, really high in the 30s, which is just crazy if you think about it for a shotgun kind of weapon. But this is a nice addition if you already have gun nut rank 3, you know, why not? You know, you will be able to reload quicker with the quick eject drum mag. I don't have a single recommendation for the muzzle and the sights. Honestly, I don't like scopes on shotguns, so I just kept the, you know, first one on there, or you could go with the glow sight if you wanted to. And then for a muzzle, you could go for the muzzle break if you wanted some extra 
accuracy, but honestly, I'm not sure that's necessary. Just a few additional things to know about this weapon. Obviously, Rifleman. I already said it before, but if you take Rifleman, you're going to see a huge damage increase in this weapon at the final rank. It's going to be double, and if you add that advanced receiver on there, you're going to have your shotgun at over 200 damage, which is very powerful, and you're going to see in this gameplay I just tear through these raiders and they are around my level. So if you're using this shotgun at enemies around your level, you're going to tear through them. So if you're able to go into certain areas that are, you know, higher than your level, this shotgun will probably perform like most other weapons. You know, it's going to be a little difficult, but you're going to be able to handle it. However, if you're on the same level as your enemy, you're going to destroy them. I know I called this a close quarters combat weapon, but it does have decent amount of range, especially if you're sneaking around, you're able to get in a better, more advantageous position with better accuracy with this weapon. So it's not really like a typical video game shotgun. You are gonna get some nice range out of it, and therefore it is definitely more viable in more gameplay situations. So obviously you can tell that I'm a fan of the terrible shotgun in Fallout 4, but I'd like to know, will you go and get this weapon? It's pretty easy to get, you can get it pretty early in the game, and how would you rate this weapon against other weapons? There are, I think there's one more unique combat shotgun, but I think this is really the one you should be going for. Also suggest a new weapon for me to cover in a future unique weapon guide video, share all of that in the comments section below. Alright guys, today I showed you how to get the terrible shotgun in Fallout 4, and next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos, and remember that this is your hub for Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button, I would really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe for more unique weapon guides, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time, peace.